In the cosmic theater, one moon shines bright on the stage of potential life, Saturn's Enceladus. Cassini, our cosmic envoy, unveiled its frozen secrets, concluding its mission in 2017. Yet the saga continues through the data it left behind. Enceladus, once thought icy and barren, now emerges as a celestial cauldron. Recent research, fueled by Cassini's legacy, points to a tantalizing possibility. Enceladus hosts the very chemicals essential for life. The evidence is clear, the ingredients are there. Join us as we decipher Cassini's cosmic code and unveil the potential for life beneath Enceladus's icy crust. Our journey transcends the stars, where science fiction meets fact. Enceladus, Saturn's ocean moon, beckons us to explore the cosmos and redefine our understanding of life's cosmic narrative. Beyond the frozen facade lies a realm of possibilities. Universal Narratives invites you to join us as we unravel the secrets of Enceladus, shaping our perception of life's cosmic tapestry. Cassini, a celestial sentinel with an insatiable curiosity, assumed the role of an interplanetary detective, unveiling the enigmatic nature of Saturn's moon, Enceladus. In a pivotal moment during its mission in 2008, Cassini executed a close proximity flyby bringing us face to face with one of the moon's most closely guarded secrets. The eruption of geyser-like plumes through its icy shell. This revelation marked the genesis of our quest for knowledge about Enceladus and set the stage for a deeper exploration into the moon's mysteries. At the heart of this revelatory encounter was the Cosmic Dust Analyzer, an extraordinary instrument nestled aboard Cassini. With meticulous precision, the CDA embarked on an intricate analysis of the plumes, unraveling a captivating array of volatiles that danced through the cosmic void. The findings, akin to an alchemical potion, included carbon dioxide, water vapor, and carbon monoxide, forming an ethereal symphony of elements. Yet the cosmic orchestra did not conclude there. Within this celestial brew, trace amounts of molecular nitrogen, simple hydrocarbons, and complex organic chemicals emerged casting a spell of cosmic intrigue. As the CDA continued its ethereal dance with the plumes, each data point became a luminescent note in the cosmic composition. The intricate patterns revealed by this celestial minstrel hinted at the underlying rhythms of Enceladus's cosmic ballet. What seemed like a barren, icy moon began to unfold as a celestial laboratory where the alchemy of the cosmos sculpted the very building blocks of potential life. This cosmic revelation from Cassini transcended mere scientific inquiry. It became a testament to the profound mysteries embedded within our celestial neighbors. The icy facade of Enceladus, once perceived as a stoic guardian of secrets, now beckoned scientists and dreamers alike to delve deeper into its frozen realms. The geyser-like plumes, once hidden beneath layers of ice, became the cosmic ink that inscribed the narrative of Enceladus' cosmic odyssey. In the wake of Cassini's meticulous revelations, the scientific community found itself standing at the threshold of a new epoch in our understanding of extraterrestrial environments. The moon, once relegated to the fringes of the solar system, now emerged as a crucible of cosmic possibilities. The tantalizing mix of volatiles, as unraveled by the CDA, whispered secrets of Enceladus's potential habitability, sparking the imaginations of scientists who dared to envision life beyond Earth. In the years that followed Cassini's exploration, the data collected during those fleeting moments of proximity continued to reverberate through scientific corridors. The geyser-like plumes, frozen in time within Cassini's archival troves, became the subject of intense scrutiny and analysis. Each revisit to the data unveiled new layers of complexity, prompting scientists to pose questions that transcended the conventional boundaries of astrobiology. The intricate dance of carbon dioxide, water vapor, and carbon monoxide within Enceladus's plumes became a cosmic sonnet, inviting researchers to decipher the underlying rhythms. The trace elements, molecular nitrogen, simple hydrocarbons, and complex organic chemicals revealed themselves as cosmic verses, inscribed in the language of potential biosignatures. Enceladus, it seemed, held not only the key to its own cosmic narrative, but also to the universal question of life beyond Earth. Even six years after the culmination of its mission, Cassini's data remains a trove being meticulously examined by scientists. 
akin to scholars poring over ancient texts in search of cosmic revelations. The spacecraft, having completed its cosmic odyssey in 2017, left behind a legacy of data that transcends time and continues to shape our understanding of Saturn's intriguing moon, Enceladus. Against this backdrop of relentless scrutiny, a recent scientific expedition, chronicled in the paper, Observations of Elemental Composition of Enceladus, consistent with generalized models of theoretical ecosystems, has emerged as a beacon illuminating new facets of Enceladus's potential for hosting life. The lead architect of this cosmic exploration is Daniel Muratore, a postdoctoral researcher hailing from the prestigious Santa Fe Institute. This groundbreaking research embarks on a journey into the depths of Enceladus's secrets, focusing on the discovery of ammonia and inorganic phosphorus within the moon's oceanic realms. In a cosmic alchemy of sorts, the researchers employ ecological and metabolic theories akin to cosmic detectives deciphering an extraterrestrial enigma. The goal, to unravel how these chemical constituents might render Enceladus a potentially hospitable abode for life, challenging our preconceptions about the boundaries of habitability in the cosmos. As Muratori and his team delve into the intricacies of Enceladus's ocean, they utilize the lens of ecological theory, a tool often wielded by earthbound scientists to understand the delicate balance of life within our oceans. The Redfield Ratio, a cornerstone of ecological theory named after the American oceanographer Alfred Redfield, becomes a guiding light in this extraterrestrial quest. Originally proposed in 1934, the ratio delineates the equilibrium between carbon, nitrogen, and phosphorus in ocean biomass, offering insights into the fundamental chemistry that underpins life in Earth's deep oceans. In their cosmic detective work, the researchers ponder the implications of Enceladus's elemental composition aligning with generalized models of theoretical ecosystems. Ammonia and inorganic phosphorus, discovered within the moon's ocean, become potential keystones in the grand cosmic puzzle. Ecological and metabolic theories, powerful tools in the hands of these scientific explorers, are not mere speculative instruments. They become interpretative lenses through which the compatibility of extraterrestrial environments with living ecosystems is assessed. The authors, cosmic trailblazers in their own right, advocate for a departure from speculative discussions and call for a pivot towards a scientific approach firmly rooted in metabolic and ecological theories. Their cosmic voyage is guided by the North Star of exploration, the Redfield Ratio, an elemental composition ratio that transcends its precise numerical values and carries profound implications for our understanding of extraterrestrial ecosystems. This cosmic compass, named after the visionary American oceanographer Alfred Redfield, becomes the instrument through which the authors unravel the mysteries of Enceladus's potential for life. At the heart of this extraterrestrial exploration lies the Redfield Ratio's remarkable unity between the chemistry of living entities in Earth's deep oceans and the oceans themselves. Redfield's groundbreaking work in 1934 becomes more than a historical artifact. It becomes a cosmic Rosetta Stone offering a universal language to decipher the intricate dance of life in the cosmos. The ratio becomes a guiding principle in our quest to understand the potential habitability of distant worlds. Redfield's assertion of an equilibrium based on biotic feedback lays a cosmic foundation, akin to the celestial choreography that shapes the dance between ocean water and plankton nutrients. As the authors delve into Enceladus's ocean, they don the mantle of cosmic choreographers, seeking to decipher the chemical ballet that might unfold beneath the icy surface of this distant moon. The Redfield Ratio, once a beacon for oceanographers exploring Earth's depths, now becomes a guiding light illuminating the potential for life beyond our home planet. This departure from speculative discussions marks a paradigm shift in our approach to astrobiological inquiries. The authors, armed with the tools of metabolic and ecological theories, embark on a scientific pilgrimage, weaving a narrative that transcends the limits of our imagination. The Redfield Ratio, often considered a target signature for astrobiological life detection, emerges as a key to unlock the cosmic mysteries hidden within Enceladus's oceanic realms. Enceladus's ocean, a celestial canvas painted by the strokes of Cassini's meticulous observations, 
emerges as a cosmic masterpiece echoing the terrestrial prevalence of the Redfield Ratio. The harmonious dance of carbon, nitrogen, and phosphorus in the ocean's depths mirrors the intricate choreography found in Earth's deep oceans, creating a cosmic symphony that resonates with the potential for life beyond our home planet. The revelations brought forth by Cassini's data become more than scientific insights. They become the building blocks of a cosmic narrative that unfolds beneath the icy surface of this distant moon. In the cosmic quest for life, the authors of the paper wield the Redfield Ratio as a cosmic compass, guiding their exploration of Enceladus's potential habitability. This consistency, discovered in the depths of the moon's ocean, prompts the authors to consider the Redfield Ratio as a potential target signature for astrobiological life detection. Enceladus and its celestial sibling Europa, both ocean worlds in our cosmic neighborhood, beckon us to unravel the secrets hidden within their icy realms, and the Redfield Ratio becomes the key to unlock the cosmic mysteries. As the research delves into the inorganic phosphate levels within Enceladus's ocean, a cosmic revelation takes shape. The authors, akin to celestial detectives, scrutinize these levels, aligning them with geochemical simulations derived from Cassini's findings. The ocean, it seems, is not just a cold and distant expanse. It's a cosmic cauldron teeming with the essential ingredients for life. Amino acid precursors, ammonium, and hydrocarbons dance in cosmic harmony, echoing the chemical symphony that underpins the very essence of life as we know it. As we peer into the cosmic abyss, a compelling hypothesis emerges, the potential support for methanogenesis in Enceladus's ocean. Earth's archaea, adept at methanogenesis across diverse conditions, offer a plausible model for life in Enceladus. Biochemical modeling, intricately tied to the Redfield Ratio, explores the compatibility of Earth's methanogens with Enceladus's environment. However, the equilibrium is precarious, with phosphorus levels potentially limiting Earth-like cells. The tantalizing prospect of life on Enceladus propels us into an era of advancing biosignature science. While we can identify individual chemicals on distant worlds, understanding the overall chemical environments remains a formidable challenge. The research underscores the need to move beyond individual biosignatures, such as methane, which can have both biological and abiotic sources. The next frontier lies in understanding ecosystems as a whole. Cell size, nutrient availability, radiation, salinity, temperature, a myriad of factors come into play. The call to explore more generalized notions of metabolism and physiology echoes through the cosmos, urging scientists to broaden the scope of Earth analog environments. In our incremental understanding of habitability, there are no revelatory moments but a continuous unraveling of the cosmic enigma. Each celestial body contributes to the grand narrative of existence, and Enceladus, with its rich chemistry and potential for life, invites us to cast aside preconceptions. Tools like the Redfield Ratio serve as a lens to glimpse the unique glory of worlds like Enceladus, yet avoiding tunnel vision becomes paramount as we venture beyond isolated biosignatures. As we navigate the cosmic tapestry, universal narratives becomes our guide. Unraveling the tales of distant worlds where each discovery is a step toward understanding the vast variety of worlds that nature has crafted, each with its own unique chemistry.